Hello, my name's Katie. Welcome to my blog. I'm The Little Walking Foot. Today I am going to be discussing some recent So Haley Jane makes and uh, a bit of a partial unboxing of January 2024. So if that sounds like of interest to you, then stay tuned. Right, hello, welcome back. So, um, Happy New Year. Um, this is the first So Haley Jane box I've received in 2024. I have been a subscriber for uh, two, two and a bit years now, actually. So, um, I've been really pleased with the service. I subscribed to the classic box, which is £40. And when I received this, this box on Friday, um, it made my day because I wasn't very well. Um, I'd actually been off work on the Thursday and I was off work on Friday with this terrible cold that's been going around and I was just in bed feeling sorry for myself. So my So Haley Jane ritual unboxing, um, I did it in bed. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I was really, really pleased with that box and its contents. But before I go into a bit more detail about what I received, I just wanted to tell you about some of the makes that I've made from previous boxes because I've not done a vlog for a while. It's one of my New Year's resolutions that hopefully you're going to see me a bit more um, on the internet, maybe, don't know. <laughs> so uh, I did write them down. In the background, you can see the make that I made from November's box, which was cotton poplin. I had actually already bought this fabric, probably a switch was cotton poplin. I had actually already bought this fabric probably about uh, 18 months ago when I was kind of first, it was one of the first things I made. I made a Stevie top out of it. And I never really liked the fit, but the fabric itself is gorgeous. It is a teal fabric with um, like a small animal print on it. Really lovely. And so I decided to make the Sew Over It Ultimate Pajamas. I think they're called Ultimate, but Pajama Bottoms. It was one of the first things I made when I first started trying to sew. And that original pair, I'd made it out of a really thin cotton and it they kind of disintegrated. So it was an interesting thing to do because I think it's shown that my skill is getting a bit better. I'm not saying I'm perfect, far from it. Um, but I realised that I needed to take the length out of the trouser legs before I cut out. Um, and I'm only four foot 11, so I took out about six inches on the leg. I think I might have took about an inch off the rise, which I'm still not 100% sure if I'm doing that right, but it's I've only got like a small body, so um, I think that was useful. And this time I put the buttonholes in and, oh, dear me, it's going very, very sunny. <laughs> I put the buttonholes in and I did put... Um, some ribbon in. Now as soon as I put the trousers on, the, the pyjama bottoms on, the ribbon completely popped out. So either it wasn't long enough or this, there must be some way of securing it that I'm not sure about. So I don't know if the, whether I can be bothered putting the ribbon back in. So uh, I'm just going to leave it. But I'm happy that I've done some buttonholes. So that's, um, I'm fairly new to those. So um, pleased with that. Just hoping this sun, hello, goes away. Oh, well, I shouldn't really be saying this because in January, it's nice to have a bit of winter sun, isn't it? Okay, so um, other things that I've been making with a lot of my Fat Quarter um, stash from So Haley Jane. She doesn't do Fat Quarters anymore, but that isn't to say that I haven't got lots and lots of them all boxed away is that I am trying to make some scrunchies, lots of them. So I've been making these sort of long tubes. They're yet to be turned out because 
um, I'm trying to make some scrunchies for my mother-in-law to sell at her church because she's trying to save the church roof so hopefully my scrunchies uh, will help so I need to turn all these inside out put some elastic in them and then hopefully um, she'll be able to sell some of these scrunchies so you might recognize some of those fat quarters from previous makes I've actually going to end up making about 40 odd scrunchies <laughs> um, so I'm absolutely dreading turning all those tubes inside out because um, I tend to get a bit of a ganglia or a pain there when you're doing a lot of I don't know feeding it through and then feeding the elastic through so I might have to outsource some of that scrunchie making uh, let me just pause a minute whilst I try and sort the light out that hopefully is a bit better so what else have I been doing I have decided what I am going to be making for um, the fabric we received in December and it was this um, poly cotton and yeah I was really pleased with this I had thought about making some trousers but I think the pattern matching might end up being just such a nightmare um, so I'm going to finally give the heather blazer a go I just don't know what size to make and I think it's going to be really long but when I've looked in the instructions there is lining involved in all sorts so I was thinking if I change the length of the jacket then I'm gonna to have to change all the lining and everything so I might just make it as is for the first one and see how I go on so this week some lining fabric arrived from Jenny Stitches I hope I've bought the right thing seems like I have and hopefully that is going to be made up pretty soon this was something I forgot to mention is something I'm working on I have got oops what's that there it is a triangle template and I've been cutting out these French inspired triangles that came in lots of different um, oops sorry lots of different so Haley Jane fat quarters and I'm going to make this hopefully into a quilted jacket either the one that is in the Great British Sewing Bee book um, because I saw a lady on YouTube um, oh my goodness I'm sorry I forgot her name and her <laughs> and her um, vlog sorry about that is it Stitch Hem Repeat? Yes, Stitch. And her jacket looked amazing. Or there is a quilted jacket in um, the new Cashmerette book as well, which I might try. So watch this space. This will be an ongoing project. But I'm going to call this my French quilted jacket. I've changed again just because I'm trying to chase around this light and I can't sort my blind out either. So, oh dear. Right, so um, those are the things I'm planning um, on making. The Heather Blazer, I'm hoping that will get done this winter because I think it will be worn quite a bit. So let's just quickly go into the box that I received for January. Whoops. So I won't go through it all because quite a number of people have already done unboxings. But I just wanted to say what a beautiful uh, illustration that is and this weekend again whilst i was on my uh, not feeling very well i was watching a lot of sewing vlogs and i saw uh Haley's unboxing and i hadn't even realized that all the fabrics that came in the box are in this illustration so the little hat the top she's got on was part of the luxury box um and the what she's dreaming of the sewing machine that is the fabric that we received so that's going to go up in my sewing room very soon talking about illustrations what a beautiful illustration on the booklet and as ever really enjoyed that booklet it feels really thick actually this week uh, this month 
so lots of content good content in there now the fabric was this um, fleece pol I think it's called polar fleece it's absolutely beautiful when I got this box I didn't realize which oh, I couldn't work out which fabric was which to be honest um, there is 50 centimeters in this and I've already decided what I'm gonna make and let me just get the name of it just whoops So the, what I'm going to make, I'm going to buy the pattern from um, the fold line. It's called Juliana Martin Eves Sophie Beanie and it's I think £4.50. I don't think it's a huge pattern, I think it just comes in three pages so I'll print that off. I think it comes in two sizes, I think she's a German designer so it does say that there is English translation as well. I'm not sure if there is something on YouTube about it as well. I'm going to give it a go because I don't think a beanie hat will be too problematic for me. And once I've got that pattern, I'm hoping to start using some of my um, knit scraps to be making beanies. Um, again, to try and save this church roof and also um, as gifts. So the main fabric, sorry, sorry my eyes, oops, ah. the main fabric was this beautiful, uh, very fine needle cord. I've got the black, I am really loving this. It's not something that I would normally go for um, because I don't tend to wear a lot of florals. However, this kind of dark romance, dark florals is really in. And I want, wanted to try needle cord anyway. I've never worked with this. It's quite um, a narrow fabric, but as soon as I saw it and I thought about the structure, I'm going to try the Aria shirt or shirt dress. I'm hoping I can do the shirt dress from Love Notions. And I like Love Notions because they have the um, full cup. They have different cup sizes. So I've already got that pattern. I haven't tried it yet, but that is what I'm going to go for with a pair of my like chunky boots. Um, I think that will look really, really good. So I want to get that done as soon as possible. So thank you for joining me today. Sorry about all the uh, light issues, but... Um, as it's middle of January, it's actually nice to see some light. The sky had been fairly blue out, so it's gone a bit grey now, but hopefully um, bluer skies are to come. <laughs> so thanks for joining me. Uh, did you receive the So Haley Jane box? And if so, what are you going to make? And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.